Somebody asked me once what was the most difficult part about living in the rainforest. And my answer to them was, the most difficult part about living in a rainforest is when it stops raining. Because everything in the rainforest depends upon water. And now that the rest of the planet is having issues with water, and water is really important. It's not like, oh gee, I need a new color of nail polish. No, water is an absolute necessity. So when I moved to the rainforest in Pune, I didn't realize how blessed I was that I was in a substandard subdivision that doesn't provide water. We have to catch our own water. And I didn't realize what a blessing that really was because that made me intrinsically aware of the value of water and what it takes. So I thought I'd share that with you today. This is my catchment tank. This is where the water goes when it rains. And I'm going to show you how it works. Over there is the main house. And it has a pretty good sized roof. And next to the roof, let's see if I can zoom in here. It might take me too long to block there. But along the roof is a gutter, and the rain rolls off the side of the roof into the gutters, and then it goes down that downspout. And that downspout gravity feeds into the catchment tank. No matter what angle it's at, the pipes will go into the tank. And that's where the water stays. So the bigger your catchment tank is, this one is 13,000 gallons. And boy, did I have to do a lot of work to clean it when I first got this place. Because the inside was really dirty and I had to change the pipes. But because it's a big tank and it was in pretty good shape, it holds a lot of water. So when we get a good rainfall, usually one inch of rainfall will provide a thousand gallons of water. That's pretty amazing, I think. So it lasts longer. If you have a really small tank and you don't get rain all the time, then you're in trouble if you don't get rain for a while. Sometimes we'll go two, three months without any rain at all. Thought I'd show you a couple of other interesting things about living in the rainforest and how to be conservative. This is another view of the pipes going into the catchment tank. One of my favorite things to do is to sit on my porch when it's raining and watch the water flow from the pipe into the tank. It has a little slotted round go-through thing, and I'm too short to reach up there and show it to you, but it allows the water to go into the tank without getting full of leaves and whatnot. And for my tank, I have a UV system that filters out 99% of all the bacteria, which is really good if you're going to drink it or use it for cooking. So there you see. And I've painted mine to look like a Monet because I think it's beautiful and important to have pretty things to look at. This is a dish pan. Most of us completely forgot what to do with these, especially with the advent of dishwashers and using a lot of water to wash dishes and whatnot. What you do is you do your dishes in one of these and use an organic soap. Then you don't waste a lot of water. You only need a little bit to wash it and then rinse it. And then you take the dish pan and empty it out into your flower beds so that you get to water your plants. This is called gray water. It's a wonderful way to conserve water. And all of us have to start doing our part because climate change is upon us. So, that's where the term dishpan pans came from, the dishpan. Now, if you have more than one structure on the property that has a roof, you can put gutters on it too and make it go to the catchment tank so that you could really maximize it when the rain comes. Depending on how far away it is, you may have to prop it up with a few things and the other thing that you can do, even if you don't have a catchment tank, you can do this, is find a leaky place where the gutter is and then just have a bucket underneath it. And for me, 
I like to have it right next to the swimming pool for the ducks. So they like that too. I could put the pool right under the leak, but there's rocks in the way. That's a, that's a pretty big rock. I just don't feel like moving a big rock today. Some other time, perhaps. Okay. One of the biggest ways of wasting water is by flushing the toilet unnecessarily. So I've learned during those dry times to either let it sit or just pee on my flowers. And they seem to like it. special tips to help you get through the rough times when you're not getting rain or water and do what do what I do don't worry about anything pray about everything and be happy and enjoy your water it's like the ducklings see you next time